Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today we're doing something special. We want to see if renting cabanas are worth the cost. We're going to tell you all about it. You stay with us. So you are thinking about reserving a cabana. There's a lot of different parks that have cabanas. Most of them are water parks like Aquatica and Discovery Cove and Typhoon Lagoon and Margaritaville. There's a lot and there's also a lot of different types of cabanas. Well, the first thing that you ought to know is cabanas are not cheap. Sometimes they're 50, sometimes they're $1,000 a day for a cabana. It depends on the type of cabana you use. Now, if you have a lot of people and you're all chipping in and you're all getting a nice cabana, I would say it probably is worth it. Uh, you know, it's hard to pay for a cabana if there's just two people and you don't spend all your time in the cabana when you're out in one of these types of parks. Now, I went to Discovery Cove. I had a chair. I got a chair. It was easy. I went into the morning and I got a chair, put my stuff on it as well as a locker. I think I sat down once. There's so much to do, you don't spend a lot of time. But if you have a family or you have a child who has some kind of issues and needs to be in a private place, that might be perfect for them. So I would say, are cabanas worth it? They're a great item to add on to any vacation. And I would love to add them. If you have the money, it's a great thing to add. But if you only are just going to be there and you're not going to spend a lot of time in a cabana, then I wouldn't do it. If it's just for a couple hours, you usually can find a nice place to sit. But if you want to do, and there's someone in your party who wants to just stay and doesn't want to do all the activities, a cabana is great, but they are pricey. So you have to remember that if you decide to rent one, you are going to spend a lot of money. How much money do you have? Is it okay to spend that and uh, take something else away from your vacation? Some of them give you water and refrigerator so you can put items in. Maybe you have to baby's milk you have to keep cold sometimes they will you can order food and they'll bring it to you all those things are fantastic but it's all depends on on the money you have so i'm going to say for each individual there's different kinds of cabanas look them all up decide which style you want at what price and i, I they're definitely worth it if you have the money and if you don't you can live without them i usually don't rent one now, if you're looking to go to one of these water parks or Discovery Cove, any of these types of places, in our description, we have a link that we can get you them for cheaper. This uh, is for us. Just go into the link, our description, click on the link, and we can get you discounts. And a lot of the discounts are better than you can get anywhere else. Sometimes I've been to Aquatica, they offered 50% off. Ours were still cheaper so that was a great thing so i'm gonna say that cabanas are worth it depending on the cost and how many people you have and aren't worth it for other people in different situations it all depends on you but i hope i told you and gave you enough information about cabanas so that you can make your own decision um maybe Discovery Cove would be a great place to get one. It really, really depends on what park. Don't be afraid to ask if you want at the park what they offer. So this is Rockin' Robin. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a thumbs up.